All right, so everything has to be fun. Of course, it's snowing, so we're going to do this quick. Um, talking about the fuel problem, possibly with the Mini X. So I put this BioClean in our fuel tank years and years ago, probably seven, eight years ago. I did have a problem with, uh, I think it was like an algae or something. I can't quite remember. Um, growing in the fuel tank. Now, at that time, the fuel tank was uh, under a tree. It was in the shade all the time. And uh, then I moved it out here. It's out in the open, out in the sun all the time. Didn't have an issue uh, since then. And uh, after, you know, looking in the uh, water separator bowl of the Mini X, you know, the fuel looked clean there. But covering all my bases, I added this... Uh, bio clean to the tank again just covering my bases so the next thing we're going to do here is i have a glass jar and uh we're going to i won't be able to film it because i'm on my phone here it's snowing quick gotta do all this quick so um we're going to check my fuel for sediment so i got a glass jar and uh <laughs> a little sandwich baggie just to cover it to keep the moisture out so we're going to take a sample of my fuel uh, out of the tank uh, into the glass jar and cover it and then uh, here is a fuel filter uh, my fuel gets filtered right out of the tank again checking for sediment here's the date i always scratch them in i don't write them with a marker i really find it hard to believe that i'm getting sediment uh, from my tank into that new machine anything's possible though so um, we're going to take this filter off and i brought i got another sandwich baggie and we're going to cover the top of this so again we don't get moisture in there and we're going to drain that and we might even cut the top of that off and uh you know pull the uh, filter element out and see how dirty that is but in the meantime i got a new filter it's a different number it's a bigger filter with better filtration again covering all my bases just in case it is my fuel tank that is causing the issue i'm just trying to cover all my bases here making sure that i don't have this issue um, funny thing is I'm not having trouble with any other equipment um, I don't want to blame it on the fuel that came in the machine but it's kind of looking that way at any rate again uh, I just want to make sure I don't have any issues so uh, we'll you know recapping put the bio clean in we're gonna take a sample with the current filter on we're gonna take the filter off we'll take a sample you know we'll inspect that filter and then we're going to put a new filter on so let me do all that stuff here quick while it's snowing and then we'll go back in the garage and we'll inspect everything all right guys welcome back uh what we're going to do here now is i got some of these coffee filters i stole from my wife's coffee maker and we're going to try and filter some of this diesel fuel um we have the diesel fuel from the tank here before we change the filter we have the old filter from the outside diesel tank and we have the filter that came off the mini excavator so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dump these fuels out individually into their own little filters here and uh, see what that looks like and then we're going to cut those two open so uh, let's start here with this one I don't have a great way to do this so uh, I'm just going to kind of hold the filter and uh, let the diesel run through it and hope it doesn't rot out the filter. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's, I don't see uh, any dirt in there at all. If it is, it's got to be super, super fine, but no, no big chunks. We'll go ahead and dump this guy out. But uh, right there, sort of the bottom, there is a few little tiny pieces. There's one right there. So there is a little bit of dirt here. So it'll be interesting to cut that one open. That's what we got for that one. Let me move my hand here a little bit so you can kind of see. I saw a couple tiny, tiny pieces. There's a few right in the center. Uh, again, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them, but nothing huge. So, 
So because I'm not looking for metal shavings, I don't mind just using a saw like this to uh, cut the filter. Uh, I might, might come up with something different if I was looking for metal shavings. All right, I think we got it cut enough to get it open here. All right, so what do we got? Spring inside of there. There's definitely some, definitely some gunk. I don't know if you can see that. I did, did change the filter 6 of 2020, so June of 2020. Uh, here's what the inside looks like. There is some gunk at the top. We're just gonna, uh oh, dripping on the floor. But, uh, let me bring you over here. So, there is some gunk in the filter. Like, like I said, it was at the top of the filter. There's definitely some stuff here, but it doesn't appear as though, like, you know, every single pleat and whatnot is not full of stuff. I expected the whole thing, you know, if, if it was shutting the machine down, I expected the whole thing to be as dirty as the top piece here. So, well, that's what that one looks like. I mean, a little dirt at the bottom and stuff. Um, so, that's what that is. Let's go ahead and get the other filter that we took off the machine. Let's get that one set up and uh, cut the end off that one. Well, I turned the camera off so you didn't have to see me cutting and you missed the excitement of me blasting through there and this stupid thing going for a ride and almost knocking my whole bin over <laughs> but uh, finally got that off so any of you guys that check your filters whether it be oil fuel whatever um, let me know in the comments section what you do to cut the end of the filter off because obviously what I'm doing is not the most efficient way so I'd like to know a little bit better way to do it well, this filter is a lot smaller, the, like the actual filtering part is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So, um, obviously we have some metal shavings at the top here from where I just cut that. We'll kind of clean some of those off. Just more on the top, but I don't know, other than my dirty fingers all over the thing. I really don't, once again... You know, you can see a few little metal shavings there uh, for me touching it, but there's no... doesn't appear as though there's any major gunk in there. I'm not really sure what to make of this. I don't think the filter was the problem. Um, I did put a fuel additive in for anti-gelling. Um, Kind of think you'd see some kind of remnants of that. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't see any water in the water fuel separator at the time that that happened. That was the first thing I looked at. Um, so I'm kind of stumped here. The machine ran good yesterday. Like I said, it seemed like maybe one time it uh, had a little tiny power loss. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see what happens. Maybe it was a fluke. Maybe it's still breaking in. With that low amount of hours that's on it, I'm not really sure. But uh, from what I see here in these filters, I expected them to be almost plugged for uh, having a power loss. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video here today. Um, questions, comments down below. Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button because I'm not sure if the situation with the excavator is finished or not. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next video.